WTOL TV, Toledo. Straight from the newsroom, this is Toledo 11 News. Good evening. Ohio's worst blizzard produced winds of 75 miles an hour today, whipping and WTOL TV, Toledo. Straight from the newsroom, this is Toledo 11 News. Good evening. President Carter has declared that an emergency exists in Ohio because of the blizzard conditions. The declaration... WTOL Toledo 11. Now from the Toledo 11 newsroom, Jeff Heitz, Jill Almstead, meteorologist Charlie Empenauer, and Horace Tabner with sports. This is Toledo 11 News. Good evening. Elton Coleman and Deborah Brooks. WTOL TV, Toledo 11. From Northwest Ohio's leading news team, Jeff Heitz, Jill Olmsted, meteorologist Charlie Oppenauer, and Doris Tabner with sports. This is Toledo 11 News. Good evening. Part of Swan Creek Metro Park looks much like a southern... WTOL-TV, Toledo 11. From Northwest Ohio's leading news team, Jill Olmsted, Jeff Heitz, Meteorologist Charlie Oppenauer and Oris Tatner with sports. This is Toledo 11 News Night Watch. Good evening. It's a battle between two American rights. The, the following is closed caption for the hearing impaired. Live from WTOL TV, Toledo 11. Today's news, weather, and sports with Jeff Heitz, Mary Lou Johannick, Meteorologist Charlie Oppenauer, and Oris Tatner with sports. This is Toledo 11 News at 6. He'll trade one set of letters for another. Jim Jackson says, goodbye, OSU. Hello, NBA. Good evening. Jim Jackson is going to play for pay. The former Mac Cumber basketball star made... Now, the noon update continues on Toledo 11, the news channel. Here again is Rebecca Fondacy. The Concord crashed. Live from Toledo 11, the news channel. This is the 6 p.m. edition with Jeff Heitz, Chris Peterson, meteorologist Robert Shields, and Dan Kellens with sports. A local school district needs millions of dollars to replace its furnace. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Center. Live from Toledo 11, the news channel. This is Night Watch. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us, Chris. Live from Toledo 11, the news channel, this is Night Watch. With Chris Peterson, Jeff Heights, meteorologist Robert Shields, and Dan Cummins with sports. I'm Jeff Heights. He's accused of sexual misconduct. Now, Sylvania Township trustees have accepted the resignation of a police captain. And it's time to wear the scarlet or blue. OSU-Michigan rivalry is next. I'm Chris Peterson. Those stories, and you can also find the Bucks and Wolves into the internet. Come here. Live from Toledo 11, the news channel. This is Night Watch. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Sylvania Township trustees tonight accepted the resignation of a police officer accused of groping other male officers. Back to Iraq tomorrow. We'll tell you about that story next on Night Watch. South Africa has unveiled a tribute to Princess Diana. And it was like Mission Impossible, but the bad guys got away. Live from Toledo 11, the news channel, this is Night Watch. With Chris Peterson, Jeff Heights, meteorologist Robert Shields, and Dan Cummins with sports. Toledo 11, the news channel. This is Night Watch. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. If you've been outside tonight, you know some heavy fire. Live from the station you caught on for local news, this is WTOL News 11 at 6. We had another picture. You'll hear her call for action right after the break. You're watching WTOL News 11 at 6 with Chris Peterson. 
Terry Phil, Robert Shields with the Digital Doppler Network, and Sports with Dan Cummins. Count on WTOL News 11, Toledo's news leader, winner of Ohio's Best Newscast Award. Now, from Toledo's news leader, this is WTOL News 11, your day. It's something that parents just don't... You're watching Toledo's news leader, WTOL News 11, with Chris Peterson, Jerry Anderson, Robert Shields with Stormtrack 11 Doppler, and Dan Cummins with sports. This is WTOL News 11 at 6. Now, from Toledo's news leader, this is WTOL News 11 at 11. I think he was taken, executed because that would that save him keeping him in. Why would they keep him all these years alive? Next. Then it was supposed to be a romantic honeymoon vacation, so why is one husband charged with murdering his wife? Also, one town's misery is another's relief as more levees breach along the Mississippi River. Plus, saving the world one plastic bag at a time, one woman's artist take on recycling and is powered by the sun, an endless source of energy. So what stopped this crazy contraption dead in its tracks? You're watching Toledo's news leader, WTOL News 11, with Jerry Anderson, Chris Peterson, Robert Shields with Stormtrack 11 Doppler, and Dan Cummins with sports. This is WTOL News 11 at 11. Now, from Toledo's News Leader, this is WTOL 11 News at Noon. Hello and welcome to WTOL 11 News at Noon. Now. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to WTOL 11 News at 5 in high definition. I'm Chris Peterson. And I'm Jerry Anderson. Thank you so much for joining us here today. A major rail crossing. Now, from Toledo's News Leader, this is WTOL 11 News at 6 in HD. The judicial system let us down. That's how I feel. We are led down. Emotions run high inside of Lucas County. Now, from Toledo's news leader, this is WTOL 11. News at 11 in HD. Another night of below zero temperatures settling in across our area. We're just now, from Toledo's news leader, this is WTOL 11. Breaking news alert. We're following breaking news for you tonight. Police are responding to a deadly shooting in central Toledo. Now, from Toledo's news leader, this is WTOL 11, News at 11. Welcome to WTOL 11, News at 11. I'm Sarah Oler. Thanks for joining us. Right off the top, we want to talk about... Now, from Toledo's news leader, this is WTOL 11, News at 11. Report released. There was no collusion, there was no obstruction, everybody knows it. It's all a big hoax. It's been going on for nearly two years and now the investigation into Russian meddling is over. Where does it go from here and what's next for the White House? Right now, mayors from dozens of cities across the Midwest continue to meet in Toledo today to discuss gun violence. A live report. A former Toledo Public School substitute teacher accused of having sex with a student at school faces a judge for the first time. And Toledo police investigating a bomb threat made against a major local business, the latest in a series of bomb threats to sweep our area. Good afternoon. Now to breaking news, attorneys for Anthony Haynes, a former Toledo pastor convicted of child... Mentally ill people who have a propensity to commit violence should be forbidden by a court order with due process from possessing and buying a gun. Coming together to put an end to gun violence in the glass city. Plus, planting pinwheels for cause. Why you might notice hundreds of them lining streets. And a deadly gas explosion rocks a neighborhood. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Christy Lee. I'm Andrew Kinsey. The weather changing tonight, just like Robert said it would. Mayors from dozens of cities around the Midwest in Toledo to put an end to gun violence. 
Neighbors call for action after illegal dumping continues to plague an East Toledo street and a local fire department hoping you answer the call for help as a critical shortage nears. But first, our first alert weather team spot on with the forecast today. They've been... Proposal to bail out the Ohio energy giants. How much you might be paying to keep them afloat. Plus, could Toledo go a little greener? That's the lifestyle promoted at EcoFest. And Northwest Ohio coming together to experience the sights, sounds, and tastes of the global community. Great to be with you tonight on WTOL 11. Hope you got outside on this beautiful day. Maybe a walk in the park, some traveling, whatever you got going on. But in a matter of just... We start your Tuesday morning with a look at your forecast. And not a bad one as well. I heard the weatherman say it's gonna be a good day. Happy Tuesday. Welcome in to Good Day. Yeah. Good to see you, Amanda. Yeah, good to see you. Uh, having fun out on the golf course yesterday, Yeah, huh? so, yeah, pretty fun. And a solution. It's difficult because we don't know everything that goes on at home. What schools are doing to make sure students and staff on campus are always safe. Plus, a school employee on leave. Now he's facing criminal charges. What we know about the suspect and the accusations against him. And out with the old, in with the new. It will be a boost to the uh, economic development of that area of Toledo. Should federal dollars pay to build a new hotel? Where it would go and what it would replace and why not everyone supports that idea. WTO 11 News at 6 starts right now. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Kaylee Marinsett. I'm Dan Cummins. Jeff has the night off. We begin with a check of the forecast with Chief... No. Welcome into this... Thanks for joining us here on this Monday evening.